Cool. I like it. All right. Very good. Let's, um... Do you need me to call 911? Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22 on uh, the Silver Run Force map. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, it is late in the day in October, and I am ready to send four more 12-meter containers and one 6-meter container uh, to the container warehouse to make another half million bucks or so. And I also have another load of scrap wood here, too. Um, I have... I, I still haven't completely finished logging the property uh, way over on that end. There are still more trees, and the, and the trees kind of wrap around the pond over to about there. So we still have more logging to do, but I have um, I've definitely cleared the majority of the property, and all my machinery is way over there. It's almost too far away to see. Uh, but I wanted to bring you guys back now um, just so you could see the money that we'll make from this. And then we're going to sleep, and then the plan for tomorrow, which will be November 1st, because I'm on three-day months here, will be to go to each one of our productions and uh, get the stuff, take it to the uh, take it to the roller coaster and, and or sell the rest of it. Uh, so let's start off this party by, um, I guess we'll deal with the scrap wood first. I might put this uh stuff in the in the chipper at the lumber mill but i'm gonna once again uh, top off our three productions first so we're gonna go to the wood turning production and just drop off whatever it'll take we'll stop by the paper mill excuse me and then of course end up at the lumber mill um, so let's go ahead and get all of those deliveries done first and then we'll take our stuff down to the container warehouse uh, and make another big old boatload of money. So I'm not expecting any any of these any of the three productions to take a lot of wood just because we've um, you know it's still the same day. But I'm sure they'll take some. Okay, so uh, or maybe not. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's it's still chocked full but we do have um some product here that's being made but you know once we sleep overnight then we'll have even more okay well that's fine that probably means the paper mill is probably not going to need anything either i mean yeah it just it's probably not even going to worth it be worth it for me to take it down there and of course the lumber mill is still chocked full too so i guess i guess what we could do is we could do a couple of things we could actually just leave this wood in this trailer and get another IT trailer IT runner trailer um, or we could chip it let's look at something here real quick if we go to the crop calendar and we look at wood chips the, the top price is 972 but the uh, the hotel is Offering a really good price for chips, right? Even right now, but it is going down a little bit too. Hmm. Um. Let's look at that again. We are in October. It's gonna drop back down in November, but then it's gonna go up even further. So, yeah. I mean, if we want to really maximize that money, we should wait. Uh, and do the chips in, you know, January. But obviously, it doesn't make sense for me to um to take the you know this wood down to the paper mill anything like that so what we're gonna do is take this trailer down to the lumber mill and yeah i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna leave the wood in the trailer and we'll just get another it runner trailer and we'll just kind of hold on to this wood for now and then you know use it to top off the productions later and or chip it at some point when the price you know really gets good and then sell it as wood chips so i think that's what we'll do all right so yeah let's take this down to the lumber mill all right now the question is where are we going to store this 
Uh, why don't we take it? Uh, excuse me. Um, let's just take it and put it in here. That looks good. Let's get another IT trailer. And I want the, let's see, we had the three sides. Actually, I think I want to go this way. Yeah, I like that one the most. All right, and then we will buy that. It seems to seems to be a good uh, solution, you know, for the scrap wood. I wanted to look at something else here too, really quick while we're here. Yeah, there's there's a few wood chips sitting in there. Does it tell us how many there are? No. Uh, by looking at the pile itself. Is there anything along the edge here that would tell us? Hmm. Nope, not that I can see. Okay. Uh, but I believe this is where the wood chips will accumulate. We, You always get a little bit anyway just from processing the lumber, but uh, if we start actually using the chipper over there I think they'll show up over there so okay let's go back and get our loads and bring them down here and make some money all right guys we have the first load down here so let's see what we get what in the dickens oh, I'm stuck on the edge of the Railroad crossing, man. I hope there's no trains coming. There we go. Are those guys going to be able to get over it? Yeah, it looks like they can. All right, I want to um, just double check that container warehouse. Yeah, container warehouse still has the best price. Okay, so this is our 50 or our six meter for 51,000. Very nice. Um, it is not good. That our truck is <laughs> on the tracks there. I think I broke the follow me because I stopped too long or something. Uh, let's get this guy off the tracks before a train actually comes. That would not be good. No siree. Hundred and two thousand. Very nice. All right, let's set you back to follow me. Wait for the line to get all the way to him. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, actually, you know what? We're not going to make a half mill because I only had one twelve meter trailer. Yeah, right. Okay. But we're gonna still make a big old chunk of change. Very nice. 102. Okay, so I want you to follow him. That looks good. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go back and load the other two 12 meter containers, and then I'll meet you guys back here for the final sale of the night. All right, guys, let's uh, make our final sale. For tonight, 102,000, and we should get about the same with that one. Beautiful. All right. Make sure no trains are coming. Okay, so yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to take the trucks back to the logging property. I'm going to jump in the pickup truck, drive up to the cabin and sleep for the night. And I will meet you guys in the morning and we are going to do some 
hauling of our production uh, stuff. Actually, you know what I might do? Now that I think about it. Why don't we... You're going to hit me, aren't you? Why don't we do this? We'll turn off auto drive. And I'm actually going to just leave this truck here. Because we're going to be loading up a bunch of lumber on it tomorrow morning. And we're also going to probably want to... Let's see, where do I want to stage this? We're going to want to bring this into... Let's just stage the truck right here. That should be good. Okay. Yep. So I will see you guys in the morning. All right, guys. We are back at store. It is the next morning. It's November the 1st. And uh, what we're going to do is open our tailgate. No, we're not going to open our tailgate. We're going to put that down. And we're going to drive the forklift over to our wood turning production and use this to load up what we have over there and then we'll take the, take it down to the roller coaster to get that going and then whatever is extra we'll sell uh, wherever we need to sell it Okay, let's head on over there. So we'll hit the wood turner first, then we'll probably go do the paper mill. Um, I'm not sure if we need to go to the metal factory yet. It still has a lot of iron in it. Uh, let's look at that real quick. Yeah, I mean it's it's still like 80% full. Um so I don't know, we'll see. I might run up there just to look at it. Okay. So I guess what I'm going to do here is trying to figure out where the best place is to load. Here, get out of here. Get out of here. I don't want to be too close to where the pallets are going to spawn because then they'll be in the way. Let's um, let's try it right here. And we'll put the hazard lights on. Okay, so I think the only thing that the roller coaster needs from this production is the staircase railing. So it looks like we have 494 of those. So let's change these to spawning. We'll do those first. Well, let's just see how many come out, actually. Oh, maybe. We have to wait till it gets to a thousand liters. I guess we have only owned this production for one game day, even though it's been several episodes. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, apparently, I don't know if that has to get to a thousand liters before it spawns, but nothing's coming out. All right. What about what about these guys? Probably the same thing. Here, um, pepper grinder. Let's set that to. Yeah, it's just it's just one pallet. Okay. Well, then what we'll do then is, um, I guess we'll we'll come back here later. After we have more product. Um, that's take taking longer than I thought it would. But here again, it's not really, not enough times really gone by. I suppose. 
uh, for that to have done much. So. Get this back on here and we will have three rolls of paper uh, so we'll go get those next and I think we're gonna make probably about 45 grand off of those all right guys we are at the paper mill um, uh, no <laughs> it's not gonna go through there okay so we'll drive around this way So yeah, we'll make some money off of these paper rolls. We should. Anyway. How about if we park here, maybe back down a little bit. That's pretty good. Oh, we need to do the ramp there. Whoa, pay attention, OG. I wonder if um if I should also make cartons too. Because I, I guess if I do that, is it gonna output the paper rolls and the cartons at the same rate so essentially we'd have double the product in the same period of time or not it probably would i guess we could just try and see what happens oh okay i guess that's going to snap in place that's probably universal auto load that's doing that but that's all right i mean we're still actually loading it on there the only thing is is we're not we don't have to worry about getting it perfectly straight because the snap will do that um or i don't know maybe that is just, oh i guess <laughs> i guess i have a hold of it seriously wow these are some amazing forks <laughs> um maybe maybe though this is a function of of just the you know just the base game because you know there's also auto load for the containers I don't know I don't remember that happening with the metal pallets though oh yeah that's weird no I'm just kind of barely under it on that side Get this back up there. Tell you what, let's do a, a strap on each one of these just so we don't uh, knock them off with me trying to get this back up here. It's not really technically on there. Um, what would happen actually if we did this instead? Because we need to leave enough room for the ramp to fold back up is a thing. I'll just have to come back for the forklift. That's not a big deal. But yeah, let's try that. Let's um Let's make start making the cartons too and just see if it I mean if it outputs the paper at the same rate that it does 
that it already is doing and then also does the cartons it should as long as it doesn't run out of wood I would think it will then we just have more product to sell because it's not like we're having any trouble keeping this place stocked with wood right um, so let's activate carton rolls and um, the other thing I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna set these back to storing because I I, I know that one roll equals 3,000 liters so basically when we have 9,000 liters of paper and 9,000 liters of carton, that's when we need to come and get them because there won't be room for more. Okay, cool. Let's roll that. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button again. Let's roll that up. Open tailgate. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know this truck did that. That's kind of cool. Neat. All right, let's take a look and see where we want to sell this paper. So we want to go down to here and paper roll. It looks like we're going to put them on the train to go to Elm Creek. Okay, I'll see you guys over at the train. All right, we need a forklift over here. So what I'm going to do is well, I guess we'll just park this right here and I'm gonna call the train and then I'm gonna jump in the in the big truck and go back and get the forklift because I can't get those off the small trailer I mean I could super strength them off but I'm not going to I'm gonna try and do this legit um, so let's call the train and it's 2.2 .2 clicks away so by the time we get back with the forklift, the train should be here. Uh, you're far enough off the tracks, yeah. Okay. Let's go get the forklift from the paper mill. Okay, guys. We are back at the lumber yard with the forklift. And the train is here, which is great. So I think I'm actually going to just keep the truck here for now. The straps here we can turn this off too okay so let's get these three spools of paper loaded up onto the train and get that those sold and um, if I'm right about the price that's gonna shoot us up over 500 grand very nice. Very nice indeed. Yes, sir. Right, I gotta undo these straps here. Let's bring these in a little bit. are going to be sold to Elm Creek. I'm just trying to think to myself, who in Elm Creek needs paper like this? <laughs> Maybe Mama Joe. What is Mama Joe going to do with all this paper, though? She start her own Elm Creek newspaper or something? Yeah, it doesn't auto load onto there, so that's probably the universal auto load mod that was snapping it to this trailer. But like I said, I'm okay with that. I don't mind loading some pallets, but if you guys have been watching the regular farming simulator series, I mean, we got to a point where I had so many pallets, I mean literally hundreds of pallets of product that it was just, there's no way I was going to move all that stuff manually, so that's why I started using auto load for stuff like that. Whoops. 
So yeah, I don't mind doing a few pallets in there, but when it gets to be that many pallets, it's like, nah. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> okay, one more pallet here. It's become, well, from, you know, everything that I've done so far with productions, which isn't a lot, mind you, um, we, we're still making way more money off of logging and selling containers than we are off the productions. But there's still a lot more productions to, to go. Like, I know we can make a pretty decent amount of money from the pet store, you know, from like making the cat trees and stuff. The furniture store probably has some stuff that we can make some pretty decent money off of too. So, I mean, I, I had mentioned this to you guys already, but I, it is my intention to probably own all of the productions at some point. All right, there we go. We have quite a bit of lumber to load up in here. But we'll do that next after we sell our paper rolls. Okay, I should be able to strap these onto here. And all right, let's jump in the train. I think this is our first time selling from the train in uh, Silver Run. We've done it a few times on Elm Creek. And uh, we just want to back up because the exit's just right around the corner here. Gotta honk the horn when you're on the train, man. There we go. How much? 55000 Wow. That's really good. <laughs> That's $10,000 more than I thought we were going to make. Fantastic. All right, so that brings us up to $522,352. I like it. Absolutely like it. Okay, so the next order of business is to load up lumber and take it to, to the roller coaster. And then whatever the roller coaster doesn't take, we'll sell to the next highest buyer. And so I think what it will do... Yeah, we can just actually leave our truck there. It's kind of parked in a weird spot, but it'll it'll be fine. I might actually move this up though a little bit. We still should have plenty of room to maneuver with it right about here. Okay, let's start loading some lumber.
All right, guys, that takes care of the loading. So let's get that up and this strapped. <clears throat> and then I think what we'll do here is get out of here. Um, actually, before we leave the train <clears throat> area, where are the prefab walls? Metal picture frame, prefab wall right there. Okay. So Elm Creek is actually going to give us the best price on those. And I know the roller coaster is not going to take them for the first stages. I don't, well, actually, are they? I don't think so. Pretty sure we don't have to give the roller coaster prefab walls. Uh, and that's a significant price difference. Um, you know what? I'm going to run down there and check that real quick. Uh, it won't take long, especially in this truck. So I'll be right back. Wood beams, planks, planks long, floor tiles, and staircase railing. No, it doesn't. Okay. So we're going to actually go back to the lumber yard. Here, don't get that in the trigger point. And we're going to th throw the prefab walls back on the train and sell those to Elm Creek. And we'll make a little over 20 grand. Um, planks long. Who's got the best price on that? Elm Creek does. Okay, what about wood beams? Elm Creek does. Okay, what about normal planks? 25. Elm Creek. Wow. Okay, so I guess the Elm Creek's the place to sell stuff. Um, but at some point, though, it's, you know, because of uh, how long it would take to load all this stuff on the train. I don't know. Uh, what about metal? If we do go get a load of metal. 53, 54, Elm Creek. Okay. Well, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to leave the train sitting here let's just sell the prefab walls and then we'll see how much the roller coaster takes and then decide after that um if it's going to be worth it to come back and load the train again for the rest of that stuff or the other option we could do is maybe look at getting another production that can take the planks Okay, so that got us $20,293. Very nice. So we're up to $542,000. Okay, I'll see you guys at the roller coaster with our load of lumber. Okay, let's see what happens here. I know that I think the roller coaster needs some of all of this stuff. I just don't know if it's going to take all of it. Okay, it took all the beams. Took everything, and we wow! Look at that. We made over eighty thousand dollars. We made a hundred thousand dollars, you guys, if you include the prefabs that we sold too. That is pretty good money. <laughs> That's not bad at all. All right, that was more than I was expecting. Okay, so if we look in the lower right hand corner now, we have um, we're gonna need a few more wood beams. We have plenty of planks. We have plenty of long planks. Oh, floor tiles. Okay, maybe floor tiles needs to be the next production then that we get. Um, where is floor tiles? Fire department. Flooring factory. It's right there. It's just 
what's this? <clears throat> That's the pet place. Okay, um, let's go over there. Maybe that's what we'll do. Except for that we don't actually have any lumber left to, <laughs> to stock it. But we don't have to buy it right this moment either. There's no point in buying it until we have lumber for it. Uh, because otherwise otherwise we're just paying, you know, the, the maintenance fees and all that, property fees. Well, let's go take a quick look at it anyway. My guess is that the flooring factory... Just, no, it's over here. Is going to probably just want the normal size planks, I think. Get out of the way. Oh, you know what though? We can't we can't actually look at it until we buy it. Um, well, we're gonna get it anyway, so yeah, we'll have to pay a little bit of a maintenance fee. Woo, look at that, that's expensive. But let's just do it anyway. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Okay, so the flooring can take either planks or long planks. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Very nice. Alrighty then. Well, we're going to... Uh, I think we have all the planks and, and long planks that the roller coaster needs for the first uh, stage. Anyway, um, and then some. So, all new planks and wood and long planks we make, we will start putting here. And actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to set these to distributing, and then the lumber yard will just bring them over here automatically. Um, and we'll do that until the roller coaster needs more planks and long planks, and then we'll come back and take them back off of distributing. Okay, so since those guys are going to distribute, we might as well just activate. Well, they're already activated. Cool. I like it. All right. Very good. Let's, um, do you need me to call 911? <laughs> let's, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and run up to the, the metal factory. And we'll just grab what's whatever's up there. Uh, well, we'll grab whatever's up there as long as there's enough to make it worthwhile to grab. But I don't think I'm. I'm still not going to set up the conveyor system yet. I, I I want the the factory to go down a little bit more. Not that it matters one way or the other, to be honest. But yeah. Um. So yeah, I'll see you guys up at the metal factory. Man, look at that big old pile of ore over there. Oh, we've got a decent amount of iron. Yeah, okay. Let's grab it, and uh, we'll take that down and sell it, too. We'll make a little bit more money. We like to make money. All right, guys, let's take this down uh, to, well, I'm assuming, I think we already checked it, right? Isn't Elm Creek the best price? Uh, 61, yeah, by uh, enough of a margin that it's going to be worth it to take it down there and load, offload it back onto the train. So I'll see you back down there. Oh, since we're in the area, um, I happen to know where another carving is nearby so let's go ahead and grab it it's just down this way we'll go across this bridge here and then I believe it's up this road on the left too far.
Yep, there it is. Parking brakes aren't on and the trailer brakes. And yeah, we have a turtle. You found the turtle sculpture. Just eight more to go. Fantastic. Look at this, too. It's a nice little picturesque waterfall. Okay, so that is it. I don't know where any more carvings are on this map. There's eight more that we will have to find as we come across them or as i accidentally see somebody else on youtube find one <laughs> um i i talked to you guys about that before I'm, I'm not deliberately watching other people's videos so that i can see where the carvings are but sometimes they find them and if they find them they find them you know i can't i can't unremember where they are so i'm just not too worried about it hope you guys aren't either it's just the way it goes okay um actually you know what it might be faster for us to go this way because we we do want to go back to the lumber yard. So let's go up this way. Okay, let's go ahead and get you strapped up, and we'll send um, this guy back to the store. Make sure you're not taking corners too fast, especially with as fast as you can go. And we want you to go to the store. Oh, you need gas. Yeah, okay. Uh, I haven't set up auto drive <coughs> to uh, go to the gas station, so let's let's just do that now before this thing runs out of fuel. So that's going to be a pain in the butt otherwise. It's about time for us to wash our beautiful pickup truck, too. Okay, let's run this metal to Elm Creek, make a little bit more money. Cool looking inside of here. How much do we make? $55,545. All right. All right, you guys. Well, we are ending uh, this episode with $618,000. But remember, we spent $110,000 on the flooring factory. So we've actually made $728,000. Well, not quite that. I had a, I had about, I don't know, $8,000 when I think we started the episode. Um, so so basically we made about $720,000 in this episode um, from production sales well and from, you know, uh, selling. The bulk of that came from the lumber that we sold in the containers at the beginning of the episode. Uh, but yeah, very good episode. We are doing good. We got ourselves a new production, the flooring factory. We just have to wait for the lumber mill here to um, you know produce more boards um, and it'll just distribute those automatically so we don't have to do it and that pretty much I believe is gonna wrap up this episode so I'm gonna go back to our property and finish logging that guy out and I think what we're gonna do when I'm finished logging that property out, did we, you know what? I don't even think I looked at the sales. What's on sale? Uh, we don't care about that. That's real. That's a really nice, um, subsoil to use for farming, but we're not farming in this episode, at least not yet. 
So yeah, I'll go finish logging that property and then when that's done, I think what we're going to do is we're going to buy our home property up in the northeast part of the map where the redwoods are and we're going to start working up there and working towards building our permanent home and it should be a lot of fun. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.